World's Theatre Day. Today, Times of Theatre is with you on this occasion, talking to somebody any theatre lover would love. Omshuman Bhomik, my friend, writer, theatre man, and much, much more. Today, it's interesting because he has been saying that on World Theatre Day today, a tune has been revolving in his head. So I will ask Omshuman, Omshuman, Gungunia fellow. Bohu din pore, Bodhu aile, Dekhana hoi to, Porano gele, Chilo pran. I dekha holo Mothura Nogore Chile to Bhalo Bolo Bolo to Marcus Holo Bolo 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 to Marcus Holo Bolo Edicta Jumping Mone Hoyla. So today I am going to catch hold of this man to find out more about an institution about which a lot of us may have heard of but have hardly any idea about it. International Theatre Institute. What is it, Omshuman? The crux of it. In short, International Theatre Institute is the world body involving all the theatre nations theatre performing nations. It was founded by the UNESCO. I see. Back in the 1940s, after the Second World War, when the United Nations was formed, UNESCO formed yes. a body uh, which will be an umbrella for all the theatre performing nations across the world. And it's headquartered in Paris. I see. Now it has another headquarter in Shanghai. Really? So it is a global body celebrating, observing and also promoting theatre in all the parts of the globe, in happy times, in trying times. And India is also part of this umbrella. You have been a part of uh, this institution. Yes, yes. Just now you mentioned happy times hard times. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about what we are facing in theatre today? I have a very big question, Omshuman. When I sit at home, I cannot get onto stage and take the lights and I cannot put on my makeup and I cannot see the eyeballs of my audience. What has happened to theatre? Relevance? What do you feel? Well, there are two ways to answer the question. One way is a very immediate problem, that is the pandemic. Pandemic has robbed theatre of its uh, community rich. Going to a theatre was a social event. True. But now I, I am using the past tense because it is no longer so a sad. social event. We are afraid of getting infected. We think twice before moving out and shaking hand, forget the embraces that followed the show. So coming closer through theatre is no longer an automatic option for people like you and me. But there are other more significant issues which requires attention because we are getting arrested in our home. We are all under house arrest. And theatre is a social function. Exactly. So we, where we, do we go? Without becoming Shubhas Chandra Bosch, <laughs> we are under house arrest. Without being on Elgin Road, we are all under house arrest. Because we are trying to experience life within the pigeon holes where we recite. Uh, our craving for entertainment, our craving for social interactions, 
have gone down considerably. So theater going, going to the theaters to watch a movie, even going to a restaurant to have food and have a da elsewhere, these have gone down considerably and very unlikely to go up very soon because our lifestyle has gone through a change. Your beautiful words, going out to a restaurant, you know why it caught my attention. I'm a chef. Theatre. Every day the doors open, there is theatre. Mm -hmm. At every table, at every kitchen. Mm -hmm. We have lost that. Mm -hmm. In a way, we have lost, Om Shuman, a slice of our lives. Mm -hmm. I want some hope from you. Is there a way? Is there any thought in your mind? Where we can fulfill this blank space? Do you have any idea of how to touch these blank spaces and do something with theatre? Shanchoita, the kind of questions you ask are very open questions and they require detailed analysis. But I won't be able to give a very ready solution. True. But we are all searching, we are groping in darkness to find the right way to find the right answer. There are several ways to look at the problem mm -hmm. and we are already trying to find our solutions. One is we have come to accept that we need to maintain a kind of social distancing even when you, you are at public space. True. The moment one coughs or sneezes, a single tissue will cause a trigger True. among the people around surrounding the And it's going to be an person. avalanche, absolutely. At large, it's happening everywhere. So maintaining a kind of physical distance, be alert and wearing the mask, uh, taking the vaccines whenever it uh, arrives your door, these have become norms for any social do, hmm? going to a wedding party true. or going to anywhere, we need to maintain these things. Very true. I, I took a flight to Delhi last week and the kind of security blanket yes, that know. is around us, it shows that we are panicked. And we, it's unlikely that, that the situation will going to change very soon. No, it's not. So it's we have wrong to, to live it. with it. Now, theatre is surviving. Thank God. After two years, the theatres in Delhi opened. Exactly 14 days back. Thank God. And the moment it opened, packed houses are everywhere. The power of performance. The, the power of getting together. Again. And theatre is also an alibi for getting together. Absolutely, it is. For people who don't go to a morning mass, for people who don't go for a, for an, for a Friday yes. namaz, theatre is a, an alibi, a, an opportunity to meet people. That, oh, not only that, the best thing about theatre that I feel is being able to reach out to palpitations, to hearts beating, to eyes streaming, to emotions singing out of voices. And it can only happen once. Next day, new show. Exactly. So it's not in a reel that you theater can Theatre being a live art and we are tired and exhausted having consumed digitized art for all these months. Now the craving is all the more, more. So we are going out with more energy and more expectations. And theater is something which will not disappoint you. But I will tell you, Shanchoita, one more thing. The theater is, theater was already hmm. struggling, but finding out new ways of approaching people again. Of approaching people. For example, for the last 10 years in India, 
in the big cities like Kolkata and mm. Delhi, mm. we have experienced that alternative spaces are emerging really? everywhere. It has been wonderful. Right. So it, it can only happen when there is a need to reach out through art. Through theatre. I am going to hold on to one word that you said here, just before the interview started. You were talking about art forms, theatre forms, which you are being focused on now. Reach out is the word you used. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Well, again, two ways to answer. One, usually the way is to reach out is we reach out to theatre. Okay. A festival or show somewhere advertised in the media or in the social media we go buy our tickets and get in and, and watch. sit glued to the to our, our seats now the point is this may not happen uh, very very uh, in the same way that used to happen till the pandemic struck matlab ki pura picture ka frame badal gaya hai it, now you are picking up a new frame to look at it. I won't say that frame badal gaya, but frame has shifted a bit. Shifted. Right? Yeah. The the cinema space is still there. But, but the frame has shifted. But this two year break, it has brought in new audience and some audience have gone away. So these are the issues that we need to appreciate and Very understand. True. Very true. But theatre has also given us, but this pandemic has also given us an opportunity to introspect, to look within and look around us. There are other doors opening. The other New doors, doors open. opening, other eyes are opening. Yes. We are appreciating other forms of theatre which were hitherto overlooked or ignored. For example, the prime example is all the indigenous art forms. For example, whenever a Madari walks down the Baligonj place streets, you will see the Madari with a monkey mm -hmm. following the Madari. He is playing an instrument. Mm -hmm. And monkey is behaving, dancing to the tune, to the rhythm of that instrument. You know, after so long, I am seeing Madaris on the road again. Yes. So the Madaris are back. And that you being a hardcore proscenium theatre person, you are looking at them, finding happiness. A lot in, of happiness. In Finding them a performance, and you are finding a performance in them. True, that is the new way of approaching theater. And there are, you see, we have this habit, we Bengalis in mm. particular, mm. habit of forming the others. Ami is Bengal, tumi Mohan Bagan, right? Ure Baba, right? Ami Bangal, tumi Ghoti. So, tumi Chingri Maach, Ami Ilish Maach. Tumi Chingri Maach, Ami Ilish Maach. Now, these are the problems which have also gone into theatre. Tumi Ingriji, Ami Bangla. Tumi, tumi Hindi, Hindi Ami Urdu. Urdu. Now, these are also there. Now, if we can connect to the indigenous performing art forms, hmm. we'll find that irrespective of the language, irrespective of the cultural ethos hmm. these art forms they developed simultaneously hand in hand so there are no barriers there you're saying well language hook performance style hook culture it's, it's is performance. a much broader umbrella and performance art knows no language barrier shouldn't so a kirtan performed in Hindi in say UP, hmm. a kirtan performed in Assamese in say Guwahati or a kirtan performed in no. Birbhum no. or in my Navadip, <laughs> they do have a rhythm to share, they do have 
a theme to explain and they do have a craving to reach out to the people with a message today the kirtan that we started with mm -hmm. see my bengali is not excellent khub bhalo to bangla bolte pari na kintu it hurt i could feel the pain that i am alive and i met you mm -hmm. i saw you yes i became a part of you yes. i understood that because that longing yes. and this is where these indigenous art forms went exactly a longing in bangla we call it biroh 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 is longing right when you are separated from a person whom you love it could be the son could be the daughter could be the husband could, could be, be the god beloved, could be god and when you crave to meet the person you become part of a process that is longing that so, that is biroh that means you are longing itself yes you are the whole longing yes you, yes you are just a onshaman this is such a beautiful thing you have just said that means that our longing for theater mm -hmm, absolutely people like you and me mm -hmm. our pain at mm -hmm. where we are with theater today mm -hmm. our need i will i have no other rougher word than need mm -hmm. our need for theater is going to as you have just summarized make us open new eyes open new doors and find new ways of going back to theater it will okay it will i want to come back to one topic i'm sorry <laughs> the international theater institute mm -hmm. can you tell me a little more about their work and uh, where they are today because it was formed you said when unesco was formed and today what is the relevance and where are they in this situation its its role has changed it was formed in 1949 long time ago india became part of it in the 1950s when bharatiya janasangh took the initiative to organize an international theater festival in bombay wow. and you'll be surprised and happy to know that a production from kolkata rock to korobi by bohurupi won the Baba. top prize in that international theater competition hona hi tha <laughs> right so we bengalis we indians are part of iti since almost the inception but india is a multicultural nation and india doesn't have a theater india has theaters we can't really pinpoint a particular expression as indian theater you are so true this in fact this there is no particular thing that we can say that this is indian theater no so way. concise so no well put way. so well put and in india we live in the 21st century and we also live in the 13th century simultaneously simultaneously the rural urban divide is very very strong and you know the indigenous theater survives in the villages in the rural areas and we have this habit of looking down or going past the indigenous performing art forms we were not trained to appreciate those art forms if you were in a city it is very easy to get on to the stage use the wings to get in and get out use the light take the lights and make the maximum use of the microphone but when theater is played played out in the open in a chauk or a chabutara with no props with no or props. very very little props it's very different True. and we don't have the skill True. we don't have the perception to appreciate that theater so your theater their, their theater, theater these divides are multiple na sanchoita we have this habit of looking down and ignoring the indigenous performing art expressions because of these divides that have been 
you know, inculcated within us all these years. And we appreciate the, that theatre which is played out in an auditorium where there is a proscenium theatre in place. Beautiful word you used, Macaulay's children. We are Macaulay's children and we have been trained, taught to consider proscenium theatre as theatre. Theater. Now, to move out in the open and understand and appreciate other theatrical forms mm. is a challenging exercise for people like you and me. True. Now, this is one exercise we need to take up immediately. Need to learn. Need to learn and maybe unlearn a few things, things in the, on the along the way, yeah. So, I just wanted to ask you one thing because uh, you have beautifully woven the present condition of the world, the pandemic, the problem we are going through and needing to learn, which you just said, and unlearn a few things is, so can I, uh, can I assume that there is also a positive side to how we are re-looking at things again? Yes. As far as theatre is concerned. Well, again, there are several ways to look at it. One is personally, it is easier for you to listen to a Rabindra Shangit now. Mm. Because the life has gone slow. Yeah. The pace which you were moving till three years back mm. is no longer around you. No. It's very unlikely that you will catch up with that pace again. This gap has also made you question about the pace that you maintained during those days. You're so right. Right? You're so right. So now that you are in, in a process of introspection, you can understand yourself better. Understand the value of pause. Value of silence. Value of silence. Right. And value of people around you. You appreciate those people more who stood by you during these crisis hours. True. Right. True. So they have in a kind of conditioned you hmm. to appreciate art in a different way. You're right, because uh, it could be that the habit we had developed, mm -hmm. less children or whatever, the habit we had developed of appreciating art in a certain framework, as we just said, the framework has shifted. Yes, absolutely. And that also brings me to your discussion regarding art forms, theatre forms we have not learned to appreciate, learned to look at, learned to interpret. This is one area we need to understand very seriously. Mm -hmm. Well, proscenium theatre is something which is not going to last for a long time. Really? That's a very big statement, Hong Shuman. It's happening everywhere. Okay. Enquire your friends in Broadway. Yeah. Enquire your friends in L London. Theatre going... Uh, cannot sustain economically. So you're saying the entire idiom is changing? Idiom and economics is changing. Economics is changing. So in both the ways, uh, artistically and economically, mm. art is facing a crisis. Mm. You can't really put up a big show without thinking about the money invested Economics. and the return you get. True. Right. And I don't think you're right somewhere that it is going to go back to that scale. No. So scale is no longer the same. No. Till two, two, two three years back, Delhi had a thing called Kingdom of Dreams. Mm -hmm. It's a big pageant, mm -hmm. big Theatre, yes. where people went and they experienced theatre like in Disneyland. Absolutely. No longer? Not possible. The, the National Centre for Performing Arts, mm. the big ticket centre for 
बिग आर्ट्स इन बॉम्बे एनसीपीए एवरीथिंग एनसीपीए एनसीपीए बल लिम्पिंग बैक टू लिम्पिंग लिम्पिंग राइट बिकॉज़ आई गेट कीप गेटिंग देयर न्यूज़ दे आर रियली जस्ट लिम्पिंग दे आर दे वर यू नो दे वर इन अ काइंड ऑफ कोमा फॉर two almost two years now they are limping back with short with small time exhibitions and workshops no theater you know national theater in london i mm. get their new suite from them mm. what they are doing is something interesting they are back to focusing on rehearsals mm-hmm. so they have a very famous actors in their rehearsal clothes in their rehearsal mode taking a speech and doing it in a bare room with four plastic chairs relooking at theatre as you said at that scale sets props music costumes nothing a jeans a shirt four plastic chairs and i'm doing my bit right so in a way the introspection of this pandemic the introspection of this crisis period have you are actually right made us relook relearn and it is also changed the way we look at life and art beautiful because life and art they they form a kind of binary in bangla there's a fantastic saying thake jodi ekti paisa khaddo kiniyo khudhar lage acha thake jodi dui ti paisa phul kiniyo he onuragi Bah. Now the thing is, you don't have an extra, extra penny. penny to buy those flowers. Or if you, you even if you have the extra penny, you need to conserve it because you know not what's coming for some emergency in the offing. Absolutely. How different we are looking at life, aren't we? Yes. Remember our adras after our uh, shows, shows and chai and samosa. Our adda martha mar bolta ma apur boi na tok ta kor bongshu man hoy. तुम्हें ओटा कर तुम्हें ओ बोट पढ़े नाउ आई लुक बैक एट इट इट वज अलमोस्ट चाइल्डहुड अलमोस्ट लाइक यू ग्रोन अप एंड दैट वज आर चाइल्डहुड यस टू इयर्स इज अ मच लॉन्गर दैन सेवन थर्टी डेज द वाइफ लेटर टगोर्स टेक ऑन द एमसिपेशन ऑफ वेमेन इंस्पायर्ड क्वाइट अफ यू नोटेबल सोलो एक्ट्स इन अदर पार्ट्स ऑफ इंडिया सीमा बिस्वास गीता गुहा adapted it in hindi arpita ghosh did it in bengali neelam man singh choudhary designed a full length work in punjabi the last two were not supported by state munifiates this is some words i have read out of an article written by anshuman bhomik in the two yearly publication that the iti brings out called the world of theater this is from all parts of the world and people from different countries are given the honor to write in it and onshuman has written in this publication onshuman i had a very sly reason to read out this bit i want to ask you something and i want you to be honest we have just talked our way through the condition of theater today you said something very interesting proscenium theater's future is something you're not looking at very brightly how much of state support do you think theater will get in the future will we survive will we not or like when a institution is in problem when a school is in a problem when a educational place is in a problem they throw out art and football and sports and theater is that what is going to happen to us if you talk about the indian state yes our prime minister has not spoken a single word about art in the last 8 years i rest my case go on number 2 the national school of drama does not have a full time director now really number 3 the sangeet natak academy has an administrator who is not connected to either sangeet or natak, natak. or nitya this is dangerous so state is not very interested or kind to art as a whole but there are certain schemes which are continuing the state provides support to the individual artists the practitioners 
be it traditional or contemporary. The state provides uh, grants to the theatre groups and schools and institutions who run theatre and practice theatre um, all the year. And state also supports festivals, publications and symposiums on theatre from time to time. A very harsh question, Shoja Kotha. How many days do you eat? Kotodin Poshekhabe it has stated opore. Kintu apparently state kuvakta theatre ni agrohi noi. Very dark picture. At least the Indian state is least bothered about theatre. Azadi ki amrit mahatsa bole akta kanda hoche. Tate all the performing art forms are being showcased. But we don't project our art in the world stage. There's hardly any effort to host a festival of India where the artists can celebrate themselves, right? So it is like continuing with the same annual rituals which, which end on the 31st of March. I don't know what to say. We started today, me asking you for hope. Yes, the, but the hope is there. But the hope you have given. No, but the hope is there because... But the hope has to be you and me. Hope has to be you and me and the people who don't need support from the state, who need support from ourselves, from the homes we live in, from, from the, the audiences. audiences, from the community where we grow up from the community whom we address more directly than so someone in Delhi or someone in some other powerful Angshuman, places. Then they are richer, those who are doing those kinds of theatre. They are richer than us proscenium actors Absolutely. because they have everything. And they have survived Nothing. all the odds. Absolutely. And they are so happy. And they didn't have support. And they didn't they, have... They don't complain. They continue with their work. They are not written about in magazines, on headlines, and they continue with their work. Well, you know that, that the, all the contents of a magazine is controlled by the advertisers. True. Right? Now, the magazines won't write about the people who can't consume... Their products. The, their products. For example, there are hundreds of Akras across Birbhum, Bardaman, mm -hmm. Murshidabad, mm -hmm. and Nodia, where Kirtan is practiced with religious fervor and intense devotion, with, with, with concentration on the Tala, on the Vava, and all the ingredients that make a Vaishnav culture. Okay. Away from our eyes but they are surviving happily see so much hope and they, there are stages everywhere i will then sum up that there is hope we need to survive on our own on our own and this pandemic has given us an opportunity to understand ourselves to prove inside us instead of looking outside for support all the time not only support but also for inspiration. True. We looked outside for inspiration. We rarely looked at ourselves or around us for inspiration. And there is so much within us. And there are so much within us which are there for you to appreciate and learn and perform as well. And perform as well. Thank you, Angshuman. I had an absolutely amazing time talking to this man. This man has given me hope, given us hope. He is giving theatre hope. Let's hang in there. Thank you for today. Thank you, Shanshuita. Thank you very much. And wish you all a happy World Theatre Day. Absolutely.